Travel TVO, powered by University Kia. Take a guess where we're going. I have this gray hat. Nashville. <laughs> Okay, we go to a brewery. We're going to the Ryman Auditorium to talk about its 130th year anniversary. Woo! We also go to the Buttermilk Ranch to kick off our trip with breakfast. And then uh, we finish it up probably with Third Man Records to look at Jack White's recording studio. We go into his store and see a couple other things around the whole city of Nashville. So it's going to be a full day. We are at the Buttermilk Ranch here in the 12th South District of Nashville, and we're speaking with executive pastry chef and partner, Alyssa Gangiri. So we came in, we looked at what you have in your glass container with your obvious great looking pastry item. So please walk Thank us you. through what are some of the offerings that we have here. We do all lamination in house. So we do eight to nine different types of lamination. So everything from croissants, we have an assortment of different types of cookies, entremet cakes, everything is made fresh in house, and our goal is is essentially to make sure everything's about two hours out of the oven because we feel that a croissant baked super early in the morning is gonna be very different at three in the afternoon. So every time you come in here, you're always getting a fresh baked croissant. So I love being in 12 South. Our sister restaurant's right across the street. 12 South has grown a lot over the past 10 years. There's a lot of restaurants, a lot of shops, a lot of shopping, uh, women's clothing stores, a lot of boutiques are coming uh, to 12 South. And the benefit is it's only about five minutes from downtown Broadway. This is the churro croissant, which we looked this up online before we got here. And this was one of the ones that I really want to try. Your eyes have been closed for a minute now. Mm -hmm. Is it really good? I mean, you've got, you've got quite the spread here. That is the best sandwich in Nashville. That is, it was voted on and it is true. This is the best sandwich in Nashville. This is one of the best sandwiches I've had. You don't think you need to eat a bunch of sugar and gluten-free amazing treats at 10 a.m., but you do because the Buttermilk Ranch has it all. It's great, you're gonna eat a lot. So the great mm. thing is when you get finished, you can walk down yeah. the street to White's Market Top. So really our focus of this store was to give um, people a one-stop shop of finding anything they need, whether it's leather goods, dog treats, kitchenware, books, puzzles, we have it all. This is kind of a revitalize of a general store and also a retail store. And we just wanted to give those Nashville shoppers an opportunity to find everything they needed in one place. Kind of our focus opening this in 2013 was not only to save this old iconic gas station, but give it that vintage vibe of being able to have all that you need. And Ollie has really worked hard as not only a songwriter, but an entrepreneur of creating this store. And we now currently have four locations and we are working on our fifth location that should be opening this fall in Belle Mead. My best piece of advice would just be to make sure to not discredit those small streets and really just explore Nashville on its own. And you can't go wrong with anywhere that you go. We are at Edley's Barbecue, still in the 12th South District of Nashville. And they're starting me off early day, start with the alcohol. This is the Bushwhacker. And Mark told us there are two types of rum in here and then a couple other things. My mind kind of went blank after you said there's two types of rum, so. It's a tiny straw. Strong rum? That's strong. Uh, so these are oh. Nashville style pork nachos. And then the Tuck wow. Special. Tuck Special. The nachos, uh, which are famous uh, here at Edley's, we, uh, are topped with our natural style pork, which is something we've kind of in, uh, invented here at in Edley's. It's natural style barbecue. So we took the we took the spice that made Nashville hot chicken famous, and we added it to pork. So it's slow smoked, absolutely delicious. And when people think nachos, they immediately think I immediately thought you're coming out with uh, tortilla chips or stuff like that. But you yeah, have potato chips. Yes. So and yeah. Kettle like style chips. Right. Kind of like one of our differentiators here at Edley's. This trip is already the best food trip I think I've had in my life. Mm. <laughs> mm. Wow. The egg. Everyone thinks of a smokehouse brisket sandwich. 
they don't think of throwing an egg on there. But seriously, I am of the people that say you can make any sandwich 10 times better with a fried egg. And that's what they've done at Edley's Barbecue with their brisket. The brisket is already 10 out of 10, but then you throw the egg on top, the brisket sandwich, the, the tuck, this is the tuck. Don't ever forget that, the tuck. We're here at Ryman Auditorium in downtown Nashville and we're speaking with general manager Gary Levy. This is the 130th anniversary of Ryman Auditorium. Walk me through what's the history behind Ryman Auditorium? What makes it such a landmark? From the very beginning, even though it was built as a Union Gospel Tabernacle, people knew that it was going to be used for concerts, speaking engagements, things like that. We had the Fist Jubilee Singer singing in here as early as 1892, the year we opened. 130 years of history is great. We're, we're probably best known as uh, the most famous former home of the Grand Ole Opry. It was the golden age of country music from 1943 to 1974. The Opry was here. Uh, but even since then, the building shut down for about 20 years as the new Opry House was built. But when we reopened in 1994 to events, uh, we've become one of the most renowned rock houses in all of America and in the world, to tell you the truth, as we now do about 280 concerts a year. And and we've been named the Polestar Theater of the Year for 11 straight years. We just took you to Ryman Auditorium. Now, believe it or not, we're still hungry and we're at Assembly Food Hall where 100,000 people visit here per week. They got a lot of food options. Let's go check it out. Assembly Food Hall is taking it up a notch on what you think of food halls. Whatever you are in the mood for, Assembly Food Hall probably has it. From tacos to Nashville hot chicken, everyone will be satisfied. Even if you're just looking for a place to sit and enjoy a drink, you can visit one of five bars inside the venue. And what is a food hall without music? On the rooftop of Assembly Food Hall, there are stages for you to be right on top of Broadway. In the year that Assembly Food Hall has been opened, there have been over 1,000 concerts on Assembly and Skydeck stages. We've shown you all of Assembly Food Hall, so if you don't have enough food options throughout going that way, you do have Broadway right literally at your fingertips. We're on the rooftop Assembly Food Hall showing you an incredible view of downtown Nashville. A lot of people. Well, they always say when you go on vacation, you always need the proper footwear. When you go to Nashville, you need boots. And you, we have a pretty good amount of boots to choose from here at Boot Country right on Broadway. Oh, look at these red ones. These are like a reddish. We'll try these on. I think I got the right shoe size. We'll see. Hold on. The cowboy boot with the one tennis shoe look. It really says you're ready to travel, but you're ready to do it in style. Wow. I could walk for days on these things. No wonder Johnny Cash performed in these. I mean, really. Look at that. Bam. Wait a moment. Oh, those are women's boots. Never mind. You have a great deal. You buy one pair, you get two free. And uh, obviously, these boots will last a long time. Corey's already picked out four pairs, right? Got four pairs. Let's look at this one real quick. Right off the bat. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. That's boot country. Wait, these are kind of fun. I'm ready to go. Boot scoot buggy. We have gone through the Ryman, we've gone through Buttermilk Ranch. Now we get to go to a brewery, Tennessee Brewers, coming up. Can you describe the journey that it was to get this Brewers where it is now and how it's just grown over the past few years? We turned this little homebrew dream into a, into a brewery and it's really taken on a life of its own. Tennessee has so many beautiful things to offer us. The land, the culture, the traditions. Tennessee Brewers celebrates all of those things. We do it with our beer, certainly. We do it with the branding to draw attention to the farmers and the ingredients in the brands as well. When you look at the beers that you offer, we're drinking a tangerine IPA right here. What, what's kind of the flavors that you try to work with? What, you have so many variety of options at that State Park beer. Well, what are the flavors people that want to come to this Brew Works and they want to try something new? What can they expect to look on the menu to try? Well, I poured this one because it just came out and it's a fun beer. But I think we really enjoy, we're able to use local grains in our beers, which the State Park Blonde is one of those beers. It was the first all Tennessee grain beer ever commercially brewed, period. Uh, State Park Blonde 
on the Southern Wit also uses Tennessee Grains, and we celebrate it that way. We actually won a Great American Beer Festival medal with a beer called Farmer's Beat. It's like a bright red, natural color, natural flavors, Tennessee-born beer, indigenous of where we live and where we're from. When we came to Music City, you cannot come to Nashville without visiting some sort of music venue. We went to the Ryman Auditorium. Now we're at Third Man Records, which is Jack White's recording studio. This is one of three locations in the world, one in London, one in Detroit, and this one here in Nashville, Tennessee. Of course, so we're gonna go in, take a look around, see what they have to show us. They also have the Blue Room here, so they got a lot to show here. Uh, it's a little thing that not, not a lot of people know about, but Jack White, of course, people know Jack White, and this is a pretty cool Come on, come on. Oh, you broke the strap. All right, that's not good. Well, we've shown you everything that we absolutely can in one day in Nashville. We went to the Ryman Auditorium, we went to Tennessee Brew Works. We went to the Buttermilk Ranch for breakfast, stuffed our faces also at Edley's Barbecue. Showed you some great shopping possibilities at White's Mercantile and 12 South. So if you don't have an idea what you're gonna do in Nashville, I don't know what to tell you. We have given you a great amount of things to choose from. And another tip, if you do go to any of these places this year, tell them Charles sent you and they'll charge you an extra 10% on whatever you buy. So it's a great deal that we have for you at WAFF. Travel TVO, powered by University Kia.